Greece saw a 15% rise in travel revenue and tourist arrivals last year. No mean feat. The tourism minister says she wants to make Greece a year-round holiday spot. She joined me in the C-suite. 2013 was a record year for tourism, for Greek tourism, both in terms of uh, arrivals with uh, almost 18 million visitors and also in terms of uh, revenue, which is uh, very important, uh, with almost uh, 12 billion euro in direct revenue for the Greek state. And, uh, and we see that 2014 is, uh, is looking like a, uh, an even better year. Uh, even, even at the same time as the country's been having such problems and the economy has been in recession, some would say depression. Mm, well, we have been in a recession for six consecutive years. We believe that 2014 will be the first year that we will have a marginal uh, growth, but still it has been a very, very challenging period. Tourism has uh, been the most resilient sector of the economy, and it's true that it's the first good message about the uh, Greek economy. So, as you look to the summer of 14 and beyond, what's your strategy going to be to not just rebuild the confidence or rebuild the perception, but to grow that market? Well, that was the challenge at first um, really uh, tackling misperceptions and uh, recreating the image of Greece as a very safe and very friendly destination and I think that we succeeded in doing this and definitely things are much better now than the first time that we met uh, two years ago uh, but uh, our strategy right now focuses on promoting Greece more um, as a country uh, an all-year destination uh, not just for sea and sun and the Greek island vacation but also for thematic uh, tourism for all sorts of different types of uh, niche, I would say, uh, types of uh, tourism. You are, to some extent, against the sanctions, or Greece is worried about the sanctions against Russia, because obviously you have many Russian tourists. In fact, it was one of the largest growth sectors for Greece in terms of tourism, wasn't it? Yes, 2013 we had a 45% increase in the number of visitors from uh, Russia. This was mainly attributed to the fact that uh, Greece uh, was one of the countries facilitating uh, the visa uh, for uh, Russian uh, visitors and we're really looking forward to welcoming more Russian visitors in Greece. Are you worried that as a result of sanctions because of Crimea that could be in jeopardy? Well, I will be very honest with you. Um, I will not comment on whether sanctions are moral or not. But in any case, they should be imposed on governments, not on people. So uh, we would never, let's say, um, prevent Russian visitors from coming. You may have to, no to, choice. To, to, you may have no Europe. choice. They may not be allowed to come. Well, this is not something that we would ever support. So we're really uh, looking forward to welcoming more visitors uh, from Russia and Greece. And we actually saw an increase in the number of visas issued in March.